So the news broke today about Marco Natovic by his brother that apparently Marco wants to leave West Ham to join an unnamed team in China. Um, look, as I said earlier when I tweeted out, I'm not going to listen to these rumours until Marco Natovic comes out and says, I want to leave West Ham if he refuses to train, if he refuses to play, just like what Payet done, then I'm not going to listen to a word of it. Uh, I think his brother's trying to stir things up a bit. It won't surprise me in two weeks' time you see West Ham on the Marco Natovic on the official West Ham website signing a new five-year deal. So I think that's what his brother's touting for. Um, let's just say that Marco Natovic does want to leave West Ham. Um, where's the ambition in Marco Natovic? He's 29 years old. He's 30 in April. Um, where's his ambition? I can understand if Marco Natovic held his hands up and said, look, I want to go and challenge for titles. I want to go and play for a top four club or a top European club. Then you could accept that. It hurt, but you'd accept it. But he hasn't come out and said that. So why would a player in the peak of his career want to go and play in China where he'd just get for forgotten about? He plays in the best league, the most watched league in the world. It doesn't matter if you play for Man City, West Ham or Cardiff. You are, you're in the most watched league in the world. So why would he want to go and fade away in China? Obviously the money, but what do the players look back on? He's on a good wage now. If West Ham was to come out and offer him a new five-year deal, I think I, I think he's on about 100, 110 grand a week, roughly. But if they said, right, we're going to make you our highest earner, we're going to give you 150 grand a week. You know, you see the way Arnie celebrates when he scores. You see when he loses a, a ball. You see the passion. You know, he loves the club. The fans love him. We had the same with Payet. But the difference with Payet is that I, you got the feeling for a long time that Payet didn't want to be here. And out of it, plays out of his skin every single game. And I think with the the team we're building now, we've got Pellegrini, you know, coming as a manager. Uh, the ball of giving money. He's built a, he's building a good squad. Young Declan Rice has just signed a new five-year deal. You've got Lanzini, um, who signed a, a new deal not long ago. You've got players like Diop. You know, you've got a, you're building a young team. Um so the, the thing is, if Anatovic goes, then other the, these players like Declan Rice are going to turn around and say, well, where's the ambition? So the club needs to just... I know they've come out and released a statement, which is a good thing. Uh, it's refreshing to see. But we've been here before. You know, I remember David Sullivan coming out at the beginning of January, the, the month we sold Payet, saying he's definitely not for sale. And by the end of the month, he was scoring goals for Marseille. So you can never say never. But look, like I've said before, the name on the front of the, the shirt, West Ham United, is more important than any name that goes on the back of the shirt. Players come and go. We went through this when, with Payet. We forgot about Payet. Now we've got Marco Natovic. Let's hope that we can keep Marco Natovic. Um, and, and he's here for many more years. But as I said at the beginning of the video, this is just what his brothers come out and said. So until Marco comes out and says anything, yeah, we'll leave it there. But uh, yeah, come on, you irons.